Welcome to my YouTube channel PharmaVan and in today's video I will be discussing about steam quality. Steam plays very vital role in steam sterilization and it is very important that we should be using proper quality of steam. How we can measure quality of steam? How we can measure quality of pure steam? That's understand. So there are three important acceptance criteria, measurement points, quality measures for the pure steam and those three are amount of non condensable gases into the steam, dryness value of steam and superheat value of steam. So what are these? What are the acceptance criteria? Let us understand. Let us start with non, -condens non condensable gases. So what is the non condensable gases in steam? Before that we must understand how steam acts, how steam kills microorganisms. So when we heat water it converts to steam. The amount of energy, amount of heat required to convert water into the steam is called latent heat of vaporization. So, so when steam condenses into the chamber onto the load, the latent heat of vaporization which was utilized, the energy which was utilized in converting the water to steam, that heat is now transferred from steam to the load items. So, steam condenses onto the load item into the autoclave chamber and transfers that heat to the load. By that way, it increases the load temperature and by that way, it kills the bacteria. How steam kills the bacteria? It is because of protein coagulation of the bacterial cell wall. We, we know that bacteria contains DNA, it contains cell wall. It contains peptide protein molecules. So, this protein is coagulated. Because of protein coagulations, the bacteria cannot multiply further. They cannot grow. So, we all know that bacteria, how bacteria grows. They divide, they divide and grow. So, one bacteria divides into two becomes two. Two bacteria divides into the four becomes four. Four bacteria divides becomes eight, 16, 32, 64. Thus, in double in this multiples they grow. So, what pure steam does? It transfers its latent heat of vaporization to the bacteria and causes protein coagulation so that bacteria cannot grow further. If there is a presence of air inside the steam which we call non-condensable gases, then what will occur? This air will act as an air pocket or it will form a layer of air onto the load. How then presence of air can impact the sterilization? Let us understand. So, air has a very less heat carrying capacity compared to steam. So, equal amount of air and steam. The steam carries a much higher amount of heat than the air. So, presence of air in steam restricts the capacity of steam to heat the load. It creates air pocket, patches of cool areas within the load. If it is a layer, it will not allow heat penetration to the load. It will not allow the latent heat of vaporization to transfer to the load. That way, it will prevent the steam's capacity to heat the load to achieve effective sterilization. So, if the non-condensable gases are present into the steam, they are nothing but the air which will not condense to water. So, this air acting as a non-condensable gases limits the ability of steam. So, what is the acceptance criteria for the non-condensable gases? So, by testing, we condense 100 ml of steam to water. In that 100 ml condensed, the amount of non-condensable gases should not exceed 3.5 ml. So, per 100 ml of steam condensed, non-condensable gases should not be more than 3.5 ml, though that is the acceptance criteria. And we understand that because of non-condensable gases, it, it, it is air and it will prevent the steam to impart effective sterilization. The one is non-condensable gases. What is next? Superheated steam. So, what is superheated steam? So, if steam contains lot of heat, the, all the amount of moisture into the steam will get evaporated. So, there, there will be no any moisture into the steam. So, it will act as a superheated steam and superheated steam acts as a dry air. What is the impact of superheated steam? 
so super heated steam will not condense onto the load item it will not transfer its latent heat of vaporization to the load item so by that mechanism it will simply touch the load and travel but it will not condense if it not condenses then it will not transfer the heat it will not enable the killing of bacteria as we understand air has a very less heat carrying capacity same way superheated steam will not condense and it will not effectively heat the load how superheated steam act, uh, phenomena occurs into the chamber so if with the same amount of steam present into the chamber if pressure drops then the amount of energy remains the same so what happens if the pressure drops the remaining moisture inside the steam will evaporate and that will act as a superheated steam and it will not transfer it will not get condensed and it will not provide effective sterilization to the load items present inside the autoclave chamber so this is how superheated steam is important if if steam is superheated it will not achieve effective sterilization so what is the acceptance criteria of superheated steam the so superheated steam should not be more than 25 degree celsius above the boiling point of water i'll repeat superheated steam value should not be more than 25 degree celsius above the boiling point of water if it is more than that then there will be no moisture it will act as a dry heat and it will not achieve effective sterilization so this is superheated steam what is third point dryness value sound strains like how a steam can be dry but yes we need saturated steam for the effective sterilization we need dry steam for the effective sterilization so if there is lot of moisture inside the steam then what will happen because of presence of lot of moisture it will not be a saturated steam it will be wet steam so the amount of heat contained by the dry steam in moist steam it will in the in the in the such in in the wet steam the amount of heat carried by the same amount of amount of steam will be less there will be lot of water droplets inside so what will happen when the steam gets condensed there is a lot of water so water contains the less energy less heat energy than the steam so when the steam condenses and it contains lot of water then it will generate lot of condensate but there will not be enough heat transfer to the load and we know we need heat transfer from steam to load to achieve the effective sterilization so if steam contains lot of water water droplets then it's a wet steam it's not saturated steam so it will not achieve effective sterilization so for that we need dry steam dry steam with enough of moisture so that it will travel it will condense and it will transfer the latent heat of vaporization to the load so what is the acceptance criteria for the dryness value so dryness value should be more than 0.9% 0.90 for the normal loads and more than 0.95 for the metal loads or hard loads so if we consider one as a value of dry saturated steam then we need 0.9 value for the normal loads and more than 0.95 for the metal loads so this is the dryness value so we understand three important factors non condensable gases if there are lot of non condensable gases then there is air and it will prevent the achieving it will it will create air pockets and will not achieve effective sterilization if we have super heat then steam will act as a heated air and heated air will not have enough heat carrying it will not transfer the heat from steam to the load and it will not achieve enough sterilization and if dryness well if steam is wet it contains lot of water it will generate lot of condensate but it will not achieve the enough required sterilization temperature within the load so this is how these three important steam quality testing affects the sterilization efficacy affects the ultimate outcome of sterilization affects the killing of microorganism affects the achievement of the required sterility assurance so hope this small video will help you to understand the importance of steam quality please please be with my channel subscribe to my channel if you are liking my videos please also share to your friends to help me share the knowledge thank you 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय फुल वीडियो